Hey, it's Shroom Lab now because I thought this name is better representing the channel's content. And in this video, I'm trying to find out if you can concentrate acids using molecular sieves, which are these yellow balls seen in the video. I add commercially bought or sold acetic acid, which is 25%, so there are three quarters of water. And the molecular sieves are like very tiny, tiny foams, and they own, they are so small that only water can go into these little balls, and the acetic acid molecule is too big to fit into the little holes on the surface. So if everything works right, the water will be absorbed and are left behind with 100% acetic acid. The only thing that can happen is that the acid attacks the molecular sieves and gets neutralized because I don't know if they are resistant to acid. That's what I'm going to find out now. So I put this in there and I waited for about 5 hours and then I performed a little test. Here I just watched if there is some heavy bubbling, but it didn't seem to bubble much, so I thought everything was okay. Although the solution got cloudy. So here you see it 5 hours later, and the right pH bar is a reference from the acetic acid I bought. And now I take the pH of my acid molecular sieves mix and you see it's actually a lighter red. So the pH increased, which means there are less.